Um, I think we got something, but I can't tell for sure. I think we got something, but it's dead. Dude, no. Oh, snap. What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. I don't know if y'all remember, I think it was a video or two ago. We actually went up on top of a cliff and set some traps. And it's been about three days later. I have been checking it with a drone and nothing's been in it. But today, I want to go up there, revisit it, make sure everything's looking all right. You know, just in case maybe something has came over and flipped off the trap and I can't tell from the drone. So, that's actually what we're planning to do today. Just head up there, check it out, see what in the world's going on, and then we'll figure it out from there. But now, we have to climb the high wall that's a straight up cliff guys it ain't easy last video we climbed it with a grappling hook but unfortunately my gopro was messing up and uh it actually didn't record anything today i actually got a new gopro i think we should have pretty good luck my only question is which angle do i want to attack from i mean i can always go the way i came the first time but then again i don't know i don't know if i want to go that way i feel like there could be an easier way on a round it's really wet too it rained like the last three days Oh, didn't know the gun was there. I actually literally forgot I had a gun on my back, too. <laughs> I was just trying to sit down my backpack. I accidentally threw my gun down, too. Good thing it only cost $100, and it is made to be abused. But I think I found where we're going to go up. We're going to go up right through here. There's actually a deer trail, looks like, going straight up there, but... It's uh, pretty well a straight up wall. I don't know if y'all can see that, but I'm still gonna need some kind of grappling hook system to get up there. But anyways, that's exactly what I got. Right here, pulling out the actual hook. And then besides that, we'll need gloves. Those are there are actually KG fingerless fishing gloves, but I'm actually gonna use them for roping today. Then up here in my big thing, I've actually got the good stuff the rope oh, and boy do i got a lot of it that is a lot of rope and you can do a lot of things with a lot of rope trust me guys you can do a lot with that and it ain't cheap either i'm just gonna tell you guys this no i'm not gonna tell you never mind sorry didn't mean to get your hopes up but anyways i'm actually gonna pull out the gopro hopefully this one doesn't break on us this time let's get climbing guys all right all right all right here we go we're gonna go ahead and zip all this stuff up get the backpack back on my back now i do have the gun but I, I have the bullets in my pocket i'm not going to try to load it before i climb a mountain that's probably not a good idea plus i probably won't see any squirrels till i get up there anyhow but uh here's the grappling hook we'll go ahead and get this baby out don't try this at home because it's probably not a good idea unless you're ready to die which i am hashtag jesus hashtag gray gang I'm just kidding. Not really, though. But this is all we need. Got the grappling hook gloves. That will go ahead and send this thing on my back. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. Hopefully you can. Hopefully you can now, but I'm going to strap this thing in. KG Predator backpack. Perfect because I can clip it up front and not have to worry about it accidentally falling off somehow. Now, I believe our best option is literally just to put it on my back and over my head. It really just needs to hang there. It has... It, it's gonna do nothing for us. As long as it can just stay attached to my body. Hey man, I'll be happy. I don't need it to do anything special. This is gonna be probably one of the most interesting parts of the video because I don't know. I don't do it often ever. Okay, let's see what we gotta do. Untie the rope. And this is stinking massive rope. Huge. Mammoth. Literally extremely huge and we've already got a knot in it can you believe it i can come in here tie us a really solid boy scouts knot all right all right all right that knot should hold me decent or at least as far as i'm gonna go i'm gonna try to make my way right up there then just try to toss it up to some of those branches above me here we go we're just gonna go as far as we can on foot oh and my gun's already hung on a stick that is amazing See, oh yeah, that's one thing. It is a, uh, it's really wet, so it's gonna make it even more essential for a grappling hook. But like I said, I'm gonna go as far as I can right here on foot. The deer got this pretty good, but about right here, it's getting too steep for even me. So I'm just gonna try to sling it up there best I can. I can safely say this right here is about as far as I can go. Whew. And get some rope. Some rope so I can have enough to throw. Throwing it's not gonna be easy either. I'm not good at throwing this. I don't have any practice. All right, but here we go. Let's see what we can do. Okay, it was an epic failure. But that's okay. We got all day. Kinda. See, that was almost really good. But it wasn't. There we go. I think we got it right there. Boom. 
Yep, we got it. Sweet. Okay. Now, here we go. Okay. We're moving up this just like a deer would. Ow! What in the world? I'm getting hung by something. That tree literally almost hung me. Oh my goodness. That's what I'm saying, dude. These trees are all over me. Good thing I didn't bring an expensive gun or it'd be trashed. Now, if I can make it to that tree right there, I should be all right. Let me pull rope up here. And here we go. Well, that didn't work at all. No! Okay, come on, please. Come on. Come on, dude. Maybe. We may get it to dig into the dirt. I think we got a root. Sweet. Oh, no. All right. Sweet. There we go. And that there, guys, is what you're not supposed to do at home. Just in case you're wondering. And that route was a lot easier than the one I took the other day. Even though y'all never got to see that one. Woo! Now I just pull the rope all the way up here. And it is like almost 200 feet of rope, so this may take a second. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh, it's a lot more of a workout than people think. Oh my goodness, that was tough. Woo! I'm killed. If I'm in a good place, sit down. I looked at the GoPro and it took me like six minutes to get up there. That's six minutes of pure all muscles being used. I've climbed a few times. Nothing crazy, just with a grappling hook up a hill like that. Which isn't too difficult, but I would say it's impossible without a grappling hook. It's a, not a good idea, like I was saying earlier, if you're not ready to die. And then I said I was joking, but in reality, I ain't joking. Pretty sketchy. I don't know if y'all can see that, but uh, that's a long way down. But that's okay, because we're at the top now, and uh, we don't need to go down. Okay, kapow! Got him. I'm actually gonna leave my rope right there, because it, it weighs more than my gun. It weighs more than my entire backpack. And since this is the place we're gonna be coming back down, we're gonna leave right here. Cause we don't have any reason to carry it. Not any more cliffs that I know of up here, but if there is, then I guess I'm just in trouble today. Oh man, that was fun. Now on to the new objective. Today we had basically three objectives. One, climb the mountain. We're here. Two, check the traps. And three, kill a squirrel. Or at least hunt for squirrels. So I guess the next step to kill a squirrel is to go ahead, pull off my gun, and load it. I only brung 10 bullets. Yes, that's right. I only brung 10 bullets. But if I can't kill Squirrel in 10 bullets, I'll tell you why I'm going to delete my YouTube channel right here, right. I shouldn't need any more than one. I hope it don't start raining. If it starts raining, I'm done for. It takes approximately two years to get back down. It's not exact, but it's a rough estimate. It looks so much better up here than it did down there, don't it? We'll set that down for a second. Now I'm going to take off my backpack since there's nothing in here I need. Well, let's go ahead, load up my gun in case I see a squirrel. This magazine holds eight rounds, I believe. But also, it should only take one. Oh, maybe it holds 10. Yep, it actually holds 10. I don't know what I was thinking. Cool. Yep, I'm taking on my coat. Now I'm full blue, but I think that'll be okay. We'll scrap this bad boy. Ow! That hurt. Ow, gosh, ow! No, this is not gonna work. Whenever I put this bad boy up on my shoulder, the magazine stabs right into my back. So I guess this right here is the best we're gonna get to do, just a solid one shoulder. But... <sighs> Let's go on, check the traps, try to kill a squirrel. That's the plan, that's the plan. Dude, 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 I just saw, I saw a squirrel. He's a little ways out there, he's not too far actually though. I'm gonna try my best to be quiet. There's a good chance I saw where he was. He seemed to be pretty active and he definitely doesn't know I'm here. This is gonna be great, dude. What if we kill a squirrel and catch like a bobcat? I know there's bobcats up here and I also know there's squirrels up here. Well, that squirrel got away. Don't really know where he went, but he's still on the table, okay? He's still here somewhere, so we're not gonna be too late. The trap's like right over here, so I wanted to open this up and show. Anyways, let's carry on and look at this trap. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, there's nothing in it, so sorry. It's right there. See, right there's the stick where we want them to be on, but nothing, nothing's in the trap. That's okay. This was a really good location, but it wasn't our only location. We still have a dirt hole set on up the mountain a little 
bit, so. I guess the good thing is that the place we're trapping in is like literally on a ridge with tons of trees everywhere. So the farther I go in to check the traps, the better the chances are of me actually seeing a squirrel. Um, I think we got something, but I can't tell for sure. I think we got something, but it's dead. Bro, we definitely got something, but it's dead. What in the world's happened here? We caught a fox, but it's dead. What in the world? We did catch something. Oh snap, what happened? Dude, no way. Dude, no. Oh, snap. Okay guys, so uh, we actually definitely caught something. I don't know if you can tell, this is a gray fox. There's two type of foxes. I'll go ahead and say this, give you a little, give you a little education lesson while we got a dead critter sitting here. There's two type of foxes. You got the red fox, the gray fox. Fun fact, gray foxes like the one we have here, actually can climb trees almost like a cat. Red foxes, on the other hand, they can't climb. So, Keanu Dave, which one's more popular? Well, they actually live in two different types of environments. You got red fox, they live in like brushy areas with not so much trees. Gray fox, however, because they can climb, they like to live in places like this with trees so they can actually take advantage of their abilities. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, if you've been here a while, you know that I used to catch red fox quite often. And the reason was because they were actually quite plentiful However, coyotes and all fox kind of have like a really big rivalship, except it's not really a rivalship because the coyotes dominate every single time. I mean, it's like you take peanut versus a German shepherd, basically. The German shepherd, or in their case, the coyote's gonna be able to win every single time. And the coyotes see fox as competition, so they kill them every chance they get. And what I just said right there really ties in to what we found right here. Right here, we had a gray fox. We caught him last night or sometime yesterday after I'd already checked the traps. So he's really not been here long. Maybe at max, maybe uh, absolute max, I would say he's been here 18 hours. And that's really not long at all for a trap but that is a long time for a fox in the area of a coyote den. Now, I'm not saying that we're standing in a coyote den. I'm just saying that we're standing in a coyote den. I mean, we saw the coyote poop over there. Just saying, that's way too big to be a fox like this. And whenever we set these traps, that poop was really fresh. So that also lets us know that the coyotes run this area really often. And just for an example, if you don't believe the size difference, that right there would be a fox poopy. And that out there was coyote poopy. Coyote poopy, a lot bigger. So you may be thinking, Kendall dude, you, you let this dog, you let this fox die in the trap. But long story short, guys, I didn't kill this fox. Coyotes did. You can look back here at the legs. He's been chewed up some. You can look right here, look right there. He's been bit. But most importantly, but most importantly, you can look in the neck area. You can see that uh, it's really messed up. Something's been biting him on the neck multiple, multiple times and just squeezing. That's what coyotes do to kill things like this. They go for the neck. And unfortunately for this guy, he was at the wrong place at the wrong time. He was caught up in a trap before we could get here. A coyote came through here, maybe even a pack of them. They took him out and that shotgun was at perfect time. So yeah guys, long story short, we caught our first fox of the year. But we didn't even get to kill it. Coyotes did. What a shame. At least we caught something. We, we gotta say that. I'll go over there and get him out of the trap and bring him on over here. There we go, buddy. And what's really sad about all this is that this is a war that the fox will literally never win in their lifetime. That's why their lifetime is being cut short each and every day, literally. He didn't even have a chance. I mean, he only had three feet to fight with versus an animal that wanted to kill him more than anything. That's about four or five, six times his size even. It's a tough life to be a fox. That's why they're, that's why they're so smart. That's the only reason they're still here is because they are so smart. If they weren't as smart as they were, they'd be killed out a long time ago. And I was talking to an old guy at my church. No offense. He said whenever he was a young boy, there wasn't even coyotes in Kentucky and that there were fox literally everywhere. But now, dang, this is scary. But he said now there's like not hardly fox at all and coyotes are literally everywhere. So it's not even been that long, probably like 40 years since he said that. And uh, these coyotes have taken over and almost wiped out the fox completely. But then again, there's two ways to think about it. You can think about it first, survival of the fittest. That's kind of how I feel. I feel like, you know what, if uh, the coyotes are more apex predators, 
maybe they kind of deserve to stay here. I'll be honest, that's how I feel. I feel like if a coyote goes out and kills a fox, that's fair game. It's literally nature. Believe it or not, I've actually had this happen before, except it was with a possum. It was a really long time ago. Whenever we skinned the possum, you could visually see bite marks all over the place where it punctured the fur and actually hurt the muscle. That's what I believe I'll find if I skin this guy right there on the neck. It, you could look at it. It was destroyed. But yeah, I was just walking down this trail right here. I could see something that kind of looked red and like kind and like looked furry, but then I was like, it's not moving at all. And at that point, I was either like, okay, exactly what I thought just happened, happened. Because I knew that could happen. But then two, I was thinking, maybe it's a bobcat and he thinks I don't see it yet. But then the closer I got, the closer I got, we got a foxy. <sighs> that's just, that's just part of it. It's not good. It's not really bad. It's just part of it. You know what, buddy? That's just, that's just how it is sometimes. You, just, you gotta go with flow and whatever you have, you just gotta, gotta float the river. Okay guys, it's day two. We're back out here on the crazy looking cliff. I decided to come back, one, because I wanna reset that trap, obviously. I'm gonna set more traps, and then I'm even gonna set some trail cameras up here. Cause I'll be honest guys, I have no idea what's up here. I mean, I thought I knew, but then we ended up catching a gray fox extremely fast. And I was like, whoa, hold up. And then there's a coyote that killed him, so there's still those coyotes up here. I know they're up here, we can get them easy. We just gotta set traps and be ready for them. But like I did say, we are setting traps. Since we're still checking the traps with the drone, I still gotta look for aerial clearing right here. This is an absolute perfect spot. This is probably the picture perfect spot. The last time I was up here, I didn't want to set a trap here because I felt like it was too close to where we entered and exited. But I'll be honest, guys, I think this is good enough. I brought two more traps with me. I might set those two. I might only set one. Either way, guys, I think we're going to have a pretty good time up here. It looks really nice. It feels really good. But without further ado, I'm actually going to set y'all up and let y'all watch me do a time lapse. Actually, scratch that. We're going to do a GoPro view. We need bait. We need pee and we need lure. Now we'll put our gloves on. I think we're gonna set the set right here. It seems to be the most flat location. One, one really key, if you're gonna set steel traps, you like 110%, you need flat ground. I'm not gonna say that it's impossible to like set, but it pretty much is. It's, it's pretty well impossible to try to set it on a hill. So the first thing you want is really good, solid like ground. I think I'm gonna use this as backing, set the dirt hole probably right there, and then see what the root system is, and I might even get to set my trap right here. We'll make this first, make the little trap bed. Okay, come back here. There we go, looks like the trap's gonna go right in there. Dirt hole will be right there. There we go. This is gonna be a pretty good spot because we can actually put the lure up here on the stick so the scent will carry really good. As for the trap itself, we're gonna be pulling this out. It is an MB450 Fox. No, it's not a Fox, it's actually an offset. Set this bad boy. Ooh. Uh. Uh. Hey. There we go. Use the knot latch. There we go. Okay, cool. Now we'll pat it down. We'll leave some right there on the edge for them. There we go, all looking good. I'll come up here, add some bait to the stick. Maybe right there. That'll be good. That right there looks nice. And then last but 100%, definitely not least, good old red fox pee. That'll be perfect amount. Sweet, now we'll, all we have to do is get out of here. And we will be good to go. This is a really good set, really good possibility. Perfect aerial clearance. We're good. Three, dos, uno. Next location, not setting the trap. Actually gonna set a trail camera. I'm thinking that tree looks really good. Here we got a pinch point because it's cliff that way, cliff that way. Everything that wants to come from over there to over here has to come right through here. And it, you can tell it's a really worn trail. You got one, 
two, and then maybe even three around that side. This is really common place for game to come. So I'm thinking right here on this tree. Let's set it, let's tell a little trail cam right here and find out exactly what's up here. I mean, I'm just saying, if there is a black bear, if there is a mountain lion anywhere, it's gonna be right here. Cause this place is literally untouched. Besides that random Sprite bottle that's been there for six years, no one ever comes up here. That's why I caught that fox so fast. Also guys, if you wanna pick up this exact trail camera, this is actually a KG trail camera. Mm -mm. There we go. It is set and ready to rumble. Ooh, throw the old gun up on my back. Let's keep on going. We'll reset the one we caught the fox in yesterday. And then I got one more trap, so we might even set it. I got one more trap and one more trail camera. And a good possibility to set both. 